This is Sean Bookett, and today we're going to demonstrate the DVR Live software. So the software is actually downloaded on the computer, and we're going to go ahead and open it. And here is the username and the password, and this all can be saved. Uh, so this way you don't have to constantly input the information. Okay, so here's the uh, interface, and on the top here we have the map section, and then we can go over to the live video and we can do the tracking, so we can do a breadcrumb of, uh, of the route, and then we also can pull footage remotely. Uh, so here, back on the map, we can actually click on, to, the left-hand side is where all the vehicles uh, for this particular user are. Uh, the green the green icons means that they're, they're on, they're active, everything's good. Red is that there is an alarm that happened, and um, obviously the user should see what's going on with that vehicle. Uh, the grayscale ones is, means that they're on the user, but they're not actually on, um, the, you know, the ignition is not on. Um, so here we can just click on any of the buses, and it will pull up on the Google Maps where it is. Um, and here in this little icon box, you have, uh, you know, the, the position, the GPS coordinates, how fast it's going, um, that the hard drive is actually working, and that the 3G signal, 3G, 4G signal, um, is good or excellent or uh, poor. Uh, if we go to the bus number 311, that's obviously red, and there's a section here that says alarm, and that's showing you that basically the hard drive uh, doesn't exist. Um, so that's something to look out for and, and obviously to rectify. Um, and here we are on just different, different buses uh, where they are. Um, if you wanted to see the live, you can just click the little plus sign, and that opens up all the different channels that the bus has. So this, this particular bus has eight cameras, and we'll uh, show you that. We can just click on, click on that, and we'll start opening up all the different uh, channels that this, this vehicle has. Uh, if I wanted to open up multiple vehicles on the same uh, page, I can do that as well. So again, clicking different vehicles, and here they go. This is for different buses, and it tells you which bus it is. Here is 311, and this over here on top here says 309. Uh, and if I wanted to open up a channel from bus 322, again, do that, and you can go all the way up to about 16 different um, pictures on the same screen. So if you wanted to see, you know, channels one and two for all your different vehicles, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, so this is, this is the live, and you can obviously, uh, sh on the top here, you can show different settings. So one, two, four, you know, six, and, and so on. Um, the, next, uh, the next thing on the top here is, is the track option. So um, picking a vehicle over here, selecting a time and a date. So from yesterday, let's pick a whole day. And we can go ahead and search, and that would uh, start pulling up all the footage. And we'll zoom in a little bit over here. And here's your breadcrumb of, of the actual vehicle and the actual route that it took. Um, and here it's obviously giving it all out on a display, as well as um, on the on the, on the readout over here. So this option right here is, uh, this record option, and this is actually pulling pre-recorded uh, footage. So it's, it's pulling the footage remotely from the DVR itself, uh, versus the video is actually happening live. This is all live, happening right now, and the record is pulling footage uh, that happened in the past. So again, from 10 to 11, here it is. Yeah, you, get particular, you can pick a particular file, and we can go ahead and download it. So it's again, it's, it's downloading it in 45 minute increments, but if you know that the incident happened between 10.30 and 10.40, you can just change this over here and, um, and pull it that way. So I'll do that, and, and here we go. Now it's gonna start pulling just that particular segment remotely. Um, as well, you see, yeah, so we'll, get, we'll give it couple seconds and you see the download progress is about four percent um, we can go ahead and open open the file 
and we can go ahead and uh, here we go. This is this is the, the downloaded footage, and it shows you where it is and where the bus was at that particular time. Another great feature is if you go back, if you go back to the file, so instead of downloading it, you can actually just remote replay. So it's not downloading it to your computer, but it's actually just viewing it live, it's pulling it live from the DVR itself, and then you can, you know, actually just view it if you want to just see quickly what happened uh, before you start downloading it and stuff like that. Um, so that's basically the overall uh, picture of the DVR software. And adios.